the whole thing wobbing. So we have some team of the week reveals to get into guys but also ea finally addressed the house rules issue now i don't give a shout out to lucas hannah for being a part of the noted gang if you guys want a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below Noda gang and also guys as part of zerkness every single day i'm giving away 25 dollars worth of underdog fantasy funds and if you guys been here for that giveaway just go retweet that tweet follow me over on twitter and comment down below on that tweet zerk and as long as you guys signed up or do sign up on underdog fantasy using code zerk you're eligible for the giveaway today is monday night football my nfl picks are already up right now if you guys are watching this video after 8 p.m we still have the halftime picks to get into as well so you can still hop in take advantage of that which code zerk does match first deposit up to 100 dollars yesterday we had 500 dollars in w's so we can keep that going and also guys i'm giving away these two xbox series s in the playstation 5 and if you guys have been here for that giveaway just drop a like in the vid make sure you're sub and comment down below the secret word on this video and every video because at the end of december i'm gonna go through and select three random videos and select those winners so comment down below we'll go with house and leave it a contact or for twitter or instagram all right so taking a look at what ea tweeted out about house rules for those guys that don't know the past couple of days i've been getting a ton of tweets a ton of comments a bunch of dms about it about people going through and completing house rules objectives and pretty much not getting the correct rewards that you guys should have been and i haven't seen ea say anything about it until today as you guys see, they said the team is aware of the visual bug with house rules rewards not tracking properly. To remedy this, we'll be conducting the reset tomorrow on December 20th instead of Thursday. This includes current progression. Players still will be able to earn their rewards from participating. Uh, in addition, we will be buffing the front half of the rewards in the house rules track. This will include an additional 85 plus pack and a non BND player of equal value. So pretty much tomorrow they're going to be resetting the house rules objectives and they're essentially just going to give us better house rules rewards up front for when they do the reset. So you guys can limit it down below what you think about this. Obviously this has been kind of a bit of an issue. I know a lot of you guys have been playing house rules and you've been getting pretty far in the reward track. I believe there's a free 92 overall player and that is one that I've seen a major, major issue with. Something that I've gotten a lot of DMs about. About It seems like every time people have got to the 92 overall player, they're getting like an 85 plus or an 85 overall player pack. So just a lot going on there i don't really know what the issue is with house rules overall but obviously we've seen a ton of house rules issues over the course of the past pretty much last couple months right every single time house rules comes out it seems like you can just go in quit out and get all the rewards instantly and ea has just not been able to fix that so tomorrow when they do this reset I'll just tell you that's one of the first things that you should potentially look into doing uh, tomorrow when you get on the Madden Ultimate Team is just hopping into house rules, going in and quitting the game. See if it gives you all the rewards. If that doesn't work, go in, try to win a game. See if that gives you everything. I don't know what's going on, but there's some major issues with house rules. All right, guys. So now getting into the team of the week reveal as expected. I actually even tweeted out earlier today that I thought this would be the player they revealed tonight. And it is Ray Sean Jenkins, Team of the Week hero. As a Cowboys fan, it pains me. Did he deserve it? Absolutely. He had 18 tackles and two interceptions, including one of those interceptions being returned for a touchdown to win them the game in overtime. So, yeah, this one, without a doubt, was fully expected. And uh, what makes it even worse is the fact that I kind of want this card on my team. He has 94 speed, 93 excel, 92 tackling, 91 play rec, 91 pursuit, 91 man, 96 zone, and 95 hit power. And he's six foot one. So to be honest, this is actually an incredible user card. This is also just an incredible card to kind of have out there and let roam the field. Now, if you want a good comparison, I'd say John Lynch is very comparable here. Six foot two compared to six foot one uh, for Rayshon Jenkins. Also, Jenkins is 220 pounds, the same exact as John Lynch. 
94 speed, 93 Excel. Over here, 94 speed, 93 Excel. Man in zone, though, this is where things get a little bit interesting because this is one particular thing that I see some people complaining about with this John Lynch card because let's say you have John Lynch and Ted Hendricks, right, which is actually the two uh, sub-linebackers that I use. Let's say you have them both on the field. Well, I feel like you probably want to use her on Ted Hendricks who also has terrible man coverage, right? So you really don't want to leave Ted Hendricks a man on like a running back or something. With John Lynch having 88 in comparison to 91 man coverage for Rayshon Jenkins, that definitely gives Jenkins the edge. Now, another key thing to kind of keep in mind though is John Lynch, what I love about this card is zero AP Crusher. I think that is really, really awesome. Don't know about the abilities on Rayshon Jenkins. I don't know if he's going to get zero AP Crusher. I would doubt that he would, but that man coverage being over 90 is beautiful. 91 Pursuit, John Lynch. You guys can see he has a Pursuit of 90. And then if we take a look at the zone, 96. John Lynch, 95. Hit Power, 96. And over here, 95 Hit Power. So, honestly... I guess it depends where you use this card and also your scheme compared to John Lynch. But if you do run man coverage at all with your safeties, I would probably say to get Rayshon Jenkins over John Lynch. Also, I do love that zero AP crusher. Uh, also, we do have to take into, you know, the fact here, the price. John Lynch is 450K. And Rayshon Jenkins, how much will he be? We will find out tomorrow. But I also really, really like those like pretty cheap limiteds like John Lynch. Because it's almost a, you know, temporary card. It's kind of a, I, for some reason, I just cannot think of the word right now. But he's like 450k, and at the absolute worst case, you just quick sell him for 350,000 coins. That's the defensive hero for tomorrow. We'll see everybody else in the morning, but they did show this. So as you guys can see that player on the left, that's KJ Osborne. Without a doubt, that has to be KJ Osborne right there to the left. Uh, I can see the Vikings. I think I see number, is he number 17? I think he's number 17. So I'm pretty sure that is KJ Osborne right there. As for these other players, number two to me, it almost looks like a cowboy, but I don't think there would be a cowboy. Maybe potentially a Lions player right there. Third kind of looks like a chief to me. And number four, I see Saints. I think it's like a Saints linebacker, maybe? You guys can know down below who you think these final cards are going to be here. Obviously, one of these is likely to be the Matthew Berry Player of the Week. I believe all the way on the right because I'm getting like a hint of the green over there. I don't really know who that could be, but most certainly looks like KJ Osborne to me. Looks like a Chiefs player to me for the third one. As for the second, I really, really do not know. But it definitely pains me to say this Rayshon Jenkins card is very, very good. And I'm still holding out hope that the offensive player potentially could be like a record breaker like Dalvin Cook or maybe Kirk Cousins or something like that since they came back from 33-0. Although none of them, you know, actually broke a record themselves in terms of like passing yards or receiving yards or rushing, whatever. They did have the greatest comeback or the largest comeback in NFL history. So you would think maybe one of them will get a card. But with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. And let me know who you guys think is going to win Monday Night Football. Personally, I'll take the Packers. I think uh, Baker Mayfield probably will not have any sort of late game magic in him this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.